welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome my name is Zoe most people know me as ZA Reptiles here and on Instagram so today is the long awaited for apartment tour video most of you know that last month I moved here got a job at a zoo so all 13 of my animals and I picked up and moved to this one bed one bathroom apartment so today I'm going to show you how we all live so comfortably here so throughout this video, there's been a lot of times that I'll be like, oh, this is gonna change, or I'll ask for your opinions on something because I'm still moving in and settling and organizing. Yes, it's been a month, but yes, that's how long it takes when you pick up and move your whole life somewhere new. But anyway, if I waited to film this video until I was completely settled and organized, you guys would never get an apartment tour. So we're gonna do this now, and later on down the road, I'll probably refilm, but this is what we're living in right now. And real quick before I get started, I wanna show off my Arm the Animals t-shirt. Cause I love it and I love Arm the Animals. If you guys want to go and check them out, which I highly suggest you do because all of your purchases or a portion of all your purchases go back to helping animals, which is pretty awesome. I will put their link in the description below as well as my coupon code ZOEA10 that you can use to save money on your purchase. So definitely go check them out because I am obsessed with them. Absolutely obsessed. And hey, if they help animals, then why not? So without further ado, let's get into the apartment tour. button over here okay so when you first walk in here's a door over here is my mudroom okay you can see I have keys and stuff hanging out you've got shelves and whatnot I'm not gonna show you that because that's the one part of my apartment that isn't really organized it's where I took everything that didn't have a spot and put it so I could film this video but I also do not have a recycling bin yet so I just have boxes and boxes thrown over here so it's very unesthetically pleasing and it looks just gross so we're gonna skip over that so you walk in, there's the mud room, and you keep going to the next room. So I'll show you that now. So before we get into that, I do have this little uh, sign on the wall in the mud room. It says Bon Vini, which means welcome and papiamento. Um, if you watched my cruise haul video, you'll remember that I got that in Curacao, I think. I think that's what I got, it was Curacao. Um, you'll see a lot of the artwork and stuff that I got on our cruise during this video. But yeah, so I just have that when you first walk in. And then here is this area. So right here I have this table I got from my mom. If you saw my moving haul video, you might remember this table. So it was just a brown table, which was really ugly and it was old, so it was chipped. So I painted it white and then I did this on the top. It was a lot of fun. Got some golds and some blues and some whites, lots of fun. And so I have my sunglasses because um, I put them away. I forget to grab them in the morning, so I leave them here. So I remember to grab them on the way out. Spider plant, my light sign that I would have on right now, but needs batteries. Um, but it says welcome to the zoo, which I thought was fitting. Same as it said at my bedroom at home. Down there, I just have a basket with some sewing supplies. Up here, I have my gorilla painting. This was painted by a troop of gorillas. Um, up here, I don't really know what people do with bars that go backwards like that so I just hung this um stick I forget what they're called driftwood I hung this driftwood that I painted a couple years ago and I didn't I don't know I thought maybe I could like hang some plants from it or something or do something with like air plants um so that's a work in progress up here is very unorganized so we're just gonna skip over that so let me come over here and I've got my welcome sign that I got in Haiti as you can see and then you turn and there's the living room. So before we get to the living room, we're gonna go to the bathroom. So right here, see that's where we just walked in. You can kind of see the mess over there. Bathroom. So if we go into the bathroom. I've got my shelves up here. I keep my towels and then I've got just a plant in here. Um, I've got like hair stuff, lotions, perfumes, and face masks. And then I have 
this box I absolutely love. I got it from Amazon, so I'll put the link for it in the description if anyone wants to check it out because I'm obsessed with it. And I was keeping toilet paper over here, but I like the looks of the plant better, so I'm probably going to leave it like that. I just have like makeup, cleaner, hair stuff, whatever. And I've got my snake plant there, which is looking a little rough, but it's finally starting to grow. Um, hair stuff that we can ignore. My bathroom is kind of just all over the place. But and then there's my shower curtain that I am obsessed with. I love it. Okay, so that's the uh, that's the bathroom. Coming back out to the living room. Okay, so anyway, here's the living room. You walk in, this is what you see. To the left here, when you first walk in, is Arcadius's enclosure. A little bit of a mess. He knocked down all of the plants that were up here, so I could staple them back on. And his tray at the bottom kind of became destroyed. My mom is working on fixing that, so for now he has one of his old poop towels down there. Hi, buddy. Hello. He's like, what the heck is that? So, yep, that is Arcadius's enclosure. Over here I have some plastic bins or plastic drawers that have supplies in them. So the first two are more just like tools and random stuff. And then I think I have food and supplements for my reptiles and then food and other things for my feeder insects. And then down there I have more towels that belong to Arcadius. And then his humidifier, which runs up to his enclosure. And I am working on getting him an Arcadia UVB. He's the last one that needs it. Um, but for right now he still has his mega ray. But he will be getting an Arcadia next. I'm trying to switch all my animals to that to see how I like it. Um, before I keep going around the living room, well, yeah, we'll go here. So here's Eugene, same as when it was at home, except I moved the big stick that was at the bottom because it kept falling and put it across the top so you have something thick to hold on to. Um, I took the palm plant out because it wasn't doing so good um, and it was blocking the other plants so everything was just starting to look kind of not so great. So you'll see the palm plant a little bit later. But I took that out for the time being so I can try to make all of the plants actually look healthy again. And then I might put the palm plant back in or get a different plant or get something that hangs. Um, because the whole purpose of the palm plant was to give them something to hide behind right here in the very front. So I'm probably gonna go to Michael's or Joanne's this week and see if I can find something to hang with vines or something for the time being. But yeah, so there's Eugene's enclosure. And then over here I have my kitchen. Very, very small kitchen. It is, I guess, a galley kitchen. So I've got my fridge, and I've got my sink, my knives, and my tea. Ignore the cup, I just washed it. And look how cute this is. So it's like a little drainer, but it's an elephant. So if you put wet stuff in, the water just runs right back out the trunk. So when I do dishes, I just put like silverware and stuff in there. So as the water drips off, it just drips back into the sink. So I just thought it was super cute and very appropriate for someone who works at a zoo and loves animals. So if you want to check that out, that also came from Amazon. So if you want to check that out, I will put that link in the description as well. And then if you just look up here, I've got an air plant. It's the only air plant that survived from last year when I did the whole cool air plant display on my wall in my college apartment. Um, yeah, so I can't even keep an air plant alive. It's the only air plant left that survived. And then here we've got my Venus flytrap that I just picked up this morning because I kid you not, I woke up to five flies in this kitchen, which is why up here I also have a fly trap because I just spent the last hour driving around looking for a store that had a fly trap because apparently nobody has them right now. Um, continuing on up here, I also have my reusable paper towels that I'm super excited to use. I got them on Etsy and they have these snaps so you can snap them back together and roll them up. Um, but I just need like a paper towel holder that I can stick them on, which I haven't done yet. So they've been sitting up here along with a plant that Crikey absolutely destroyed. It's still alive, it's just severely bent. So I don't really know what to do with that. 
my meerkat statue, empty pot, my bamboo from my old fish tank that my mom brought down for me, more reusable paper towels. I'll probably use those for cleaning. Um, moving on. So I've got my microwave. It's a very old microwave, so I tried to make it look nicer. Ugh, fruit flies, gross. I tried to make it look nicer by using this uh, marble, whatchamacallit, on top, the sticky paper. You know what I'm talking about? Contact paper. So I tried to make it look nice by adding this marble contact paper. Um, this basket usually has fruit in it. I very clearly need to go grocery shopping. Um, ignore this right now. That is like a fruit fly trap that I bought for my isopod bins and it was doing really well. Meanwhile, my kitchen had lots of fruit flies so I temporarily moved it in here to try to take care of the problem. And I just have some cabinets, my tiny little stove, this sign on the wall that I thought was very appropriate for a kitchen. This is always be the glass half full because I always try to. And then I have my shelves that I'm starting to get organized because I bought some of these um, containers. So up here, that's like just a random shelf. Um, and then this shelf is baking and then chips and snacks. And then I have my reusable napkins and then my kitchen towels and dishcloths, um, more snacks, my tea, my scale, and then down here is kind of more like breakfast and starches. And then I have more storage down here. So I won't go into all of that because you don't need to see all of that. That would be a whole other video if you wanted like a kitchen tour, but I wanna to get to the animals. So yeah, that is my kitchen. Also, peep the taco mat. I love that taco mat. Okay, so moving back into the living room. So we left off with Arcadius's enclosure, Eugene's enclosure. We'll move on over here. So I have this lovely futon that was gray and it matched my walls. So I needed to spice it up a little bit and I had this tapestry laying around. So I was like, why not? Throw the tapestry on, got some pillows to match. There's my uh, Komodo dragon up there. I found an ottoman that also matched, so I have all of the bedding for the futon inside of that ottoman. And then up here I have these pieces of artwork from Veronica Steiner, I think is how she pronounces her last name. Um, but she is amazing, has amazing reptile artwork. And so of course I had to get the Veiled Chameleon and the Iguana. The iguana, I believe, was limited, and I think she only printed like 10. So she messaged me as soon as she put them up in her shop, and I went right over and got one. And yes, I know you're probably gonna be like, oh my gosh, these aren't centered. At the time, I was trying to stick to only putting holes in the cracks in the wall, um, but I'm probably gonna end up moving it because it's really driving me nuts that it's not centered. But anyway, there is the futon area. So to the right of the futon is the iguana corner, as I call it. So I have Arcadius's cat tree, his baby up there, and some artwork up here. So I have this iguana print that I got when we were in Bonaire on our cruise. I've got one of Arcadius's paintings. And I've got this awesome print of Arcadius that I won in a giveaway from Exotic Marvel Reptiles. So that was pretty awesome and the quality is fantastic. So I finally have a space where I can hang that. I'm so excited. And I am gonna be looking for more iguana artwork for this corner. And then over there I do have some of those like folding table stand things, like the TV dinner stands. Um, because you'll see I don't have a kitchen area with my animals. I didn't have room for a table. So I just got those folding ones, put the marble contact paper on top to make it look a little more modern. And I just stored them over there. Um, usually I have one out at all times just because my laptop is usually on it. But just to make this look a little cleaner, I put them both away. So there's the iguana corner. So we keep going. Then I've got most of my plants right here. Um, so yeah, there's my plants. And they're all starting to look alive again. I'm trying to be better 
about watering my plants because I'm a horrible plant mom, but I love plants. So we're working on it. And then up here I have my little pin thing, which is looking a little empty, but it's something. So I just got a couple pins. So like this one was a charity pin. So 100% of the profits went to amphibian conservation and research. Um, these were from a second sale and the profits from those went to, I want to say an ocean, an ocean cleanup organization. I don't remember right now, but they went to something that had to do with nature. Um, so normally this plant is pushed back more, but I started to realize that my lights were burning the plant. I couldn't figure out what the heck was going on. And I figured out that it is the, uh, the lights that are doing that. So when I turn the lights on, I just pull out this plant now to keep it from getting burnt. All right, and then we move on to my small rack. So on top, I have Tansy, my baby bearded dragon. And normally she does have a hammock right here, but I took it out this morning because I wanted to sew it now that I have my sewing machine here and just kind of make it look finished. But I was having some problems, so I had to run out and get some stuff for that. So after I'm done filming this, I will be finishing that and putting her hammock back in. Down here we have Penelope, my hog nose. So that's her enclosure. And then down here I have Tootsie, my Kenyan sand boa, my reptile water dispenser jug thing. Down here I have my dubia roaches and my mealworm and superworm beetles because I'm sick of them escaping the drawers that my worms are in. So now I put them in these separate bins. Oh, that reminds me. Under Arcadius's enclosure, I have my superworms and my mealworms. Ta-da! Okay, back over here. Um, so there is that shelf. I have another plant in the corner. That bag of aspen is there because I need to clean Tootsie's enclosure. And then we have my shelves and my TV. So I just have all my workout stuff because I'm too broke for a gym membership. So I've got my own little home gym stuff there. My uh, yoga mat is in the back corner over there. And then I have my sign, that, my box sign that I absolutely love. It says my pet is cuter than your boyfriend. And I've got all of my snake sheds back there in that fish bowl. And then over here, I've just got some books. The super awesome snake skeleton dish, my scarlet ibis feathers, my reptile medicine first aid box, um, and then just some other random stuff. My file that has all of my animals record pages in it. Um, then I have this little bowl I got in Haiti, my Pascal, my elephant painted mason jar with quills from an African porcupine. TV my boyfriend bought me, and then my awesome tapestry that I absolutely love. I got this over a year ago for my college apartment, and now it is here. This was the requirement. I had to find somewhere to hang this because I love it. On this side, which is the last area of my living room. We have Percy's enclosure. You can see him up there. Percy is my Cuban Knight Anole. And then just under the stand, I have a speaker that I really don't use, especially in such a small apartment. So I'll probably send that back home to my parents' basement for the time being and put something else there. But for now, that's where it's going. All right, into the bedroom. So when you first walk in, I've got these drawers that just have some clothes, some socks, some electronics, my printer, stuff that still needs to be organized. And then I've got a dresser. On top of the dresser, I have stuff from my desk because I decided while I'm here, I'm not gonna use a desk, but I still need like pens and pencils and desk supplies. So for now that is up here. Um, I have a picture of my siblings and I from years ago. I've got my necklace, my lizard, Pip's food because Pip's enclosure is right here. Oh, and that plant fell down again. So annoying, I'll have to stick that back up. So I've got Pip's food right there just because it's more convenient for me to have it right next to her enclosure. 
And so there's Pip's enclosure. Pip is my crested gecko, for those of you that don't know. Down here, we just have my other random desk stuff that isn't organized, so we'll just move on from that. In this corner, I have my isopod bins. You can see there's quite a few, and they stack right up in that corner perfectly. Um, I got Crikey's Arcadia bulb that I need to get a fixture for, but he does have Arcadia. I told you I was switching everyone to Arcadia, and Arcadius was the last one because I do have Crikey's now. I just have to get a fixture for it. And then we're going to skip over here to this side. So I have my closet that, again, I'm not going to show you because I'm still organizing it. And then we've got this area that I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to make it like Pinterest worthy. I mean, you've got the long mirror on top of the little box thingy with the baskets and the plants. Everyone seems to use baskets on Pinterest and make it, it looks so awesome. But I don't know what to do with baskets. Like, what do I do with that? I like it, but what am I supposed to do with it? So right now it's just sitting there. There is the palm plant from Eugene's enclosure that I'm trying to rebring life to. I trimmed off all the dead parts yesterday. So we're gonna see if I can bring that back. But, so yeah, there's that part of my room. Um, you'll see on my bed, I've got a couple different canvases. I wanna put something right here, I think, but I don't know what. I've got a couple different options. So this is kind of what I'm working with. I've got these three that kind of have a little quote and then I've got that one, which is a green anaconda painting from a zoo. So those are kind of my options that I'm working with. Over here, we've got my nightstand and it's just got nightstand-ish stuff on top of it. My bed, ta-da, my other tapestry. And now the moment you've been waiting for, my big reptile shelves. So we'll start from the bottom, work our way to the top. The bottom has a bin with all my extra reptile supplies in it. So it's got extra dishes, extra decor, extra hides, extra bedding, it's all under there. And then I've got some extra lights, um, some extra egg cartons. And then right here we have Tinsel's enclosure. Tinsel is my sunbeam snake. Next to her I have Kronk, who is my Dumeril's boa. You can kind of see him back there. Hi buddy. And moving up, we have Phoenix's new enclosure. So it is the size of a 40 breeder, which is what she was in, but it is front opening. So she finally got her sticker. Almost all of the enclosures have them now. They're from Haley's Custom Designs on Instagram slash Etsy. Uh, highly recommend, totally awesome. You can see Phoenix has one, Pip has one, Arcadius has one. The sign on Eugene's enclosure is from her. You'll see in a minute that Zero has one. Over here is Crikey's enclosure that I renovated the other day. I took out all of his live plants because he killed them or destroyed them and put in more fake plants. And I wanted fake plants that were more native to his area. So that's why I have just these grasses and this kind of succulent looking plant. And yeah, so that is the update with his as well as this raised platform that I DIY'd last weekend to keep his food dish and water dish out of the dirt so they stay clean longer and it has been working fantastically and he did get a new food dish as well that's just a normal cat slash dog dish and i like that it's nice and heavy so he can't knock it over before he was knocking over his dishes and letting worms escape into his enclosure so i was finding beetles and stuff later and it was just not fun so that way I know he is getting all of his worms, none are escaping, and it's all staying clean because it's raised up out of the dirt. And then moving up, we just have random stuff there, empty space. And then we have Snicket's enclosure, and Snicket is my banana ball python. So you can see there is his enclosure. And then we have Zero. 
Zero is my Mexican milk snake. Again, he's got a sticker as well. So there is his enclosure. If you watched my last couple of videos, you've already seen these enclosures. And then up top, I just have some random stuff. So this box just has extra light fixtures and domes inside of it, nothing too exciting. I've got my reptile cleaning supplies, my hats. Yes, I have a ton of hats because I collect them from all the zoos that I go to. So I got tons of hats in there, extra isopod bins, my camera bag, some books, yada yada. So that is the latest with my reptile shelves. Oh, and over there I do have my skating medals. If you remember from my room back home, I had all of my skating medals hanging on both sides, but that was a lot of medals. So when I moved, I decided to only take the really important ones. So all of my medals from State Games of America, as well as my state's winter games. So those are the like important ones. So those are the ones that I brought with me. So yeah, just an overlook of my bedroom again. I'm trying to decide if I should get a rug and a coffee table or just leave it big and empty. I'm not entirely sure what to do, but it's like once you buy a rug and order a coffee table, that's it. So I need to make the decision if I'm actually going to do that or not. I would like to fill the space a little bit, but it's also super easy to move the futon out when we need to use it because there's nothing there. So leave me a comment. Let me know your opinion because I don't know. So yeah, that is my apartment. I hope you guys enjoy this video since I made you wait so long for it. I am loving how it's looking. It's finally coming together and feeling like a real apartment with real furniture. I'm so excited. So anyway, if you guys liked it and you don't want to miss out on more videos, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you get notified. And we'll see you for the next video.